here. Sometimes I change it up, um, but we always do hot cross buns. We always do twinkle. That's a great one. And uh, we also, this year, we're doing one called Claire de Lune, which is a nice, slow, fourth grade version of Claire de Lune, and it's, it's pretty. So I hope you enjoy these three. that they've been working on and it kind of sounds like they're starting you know from the top and the notes are going to go down descend and then they're going to ascend and go back up and then we're going to do a holiday tune even though we're past the holidays now because they started working on this tune before the holidays um, called good king wenceslas so i hope you enjoy a walking song and good king wenceslas <laughs>
have our big violin section stand on up. Violin, yeah. stand on up. Let's do that. Woo! 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 Let's have our, our viola stand on up. Our viola. You can tell us what's facing the audience. And let's have our cello down. Woo! And holding it down on the low end, on the big fiddle, the upright bass, is Elizabeth. Yeah. Thank you so much. One thing else I wanted to mention is they know a lot now. They do, but they're still stopping. That's awesome. All right. They know a lot on their instrument, as you can see. They do, in only a few months' uh, time. So I think it's really important for them to be creative and experiment on their own. If you got my newsletter that went home, there were some things about that. I'm a real big bluegrass, jazz, and Irish player, as well as a classical violinist, but I really think it's important, even if they're making some stuff up and they don't really know what they're making, it's cool just to fiddle around on their instruments and experiment. So I encourage that at home. Thank you once again so much for coming tonight. It's been a pleasure.